this is an opportune moment. The, the topics you're talking about are really big ticket items. People should take this moment at the FCC and uh, other regulatory uh, agencies around the world to think big, to think about this transition from uh, the, the copper world to the all IP world, and, and to think about this amazing transition from, from, from wires uh, to, to, to wireless, and to really uh, try to understand what that means. And uh, I think when you talk about things like universal service, to not talk about wireless, I mean, all the growth and the funding has come from this ridiculous system where we are, and I may differ a bit with the authors on this, we are paying for duplicative <laughs> provider of last resort subsidies in, uh, you know, hundreds, hundreds of markets around the country. And we, we have, I mean, just to, to flip this, uh, to flip this uh, terrible $8 billion a year, did I say terrible? No, I mean awful. Uh, $8 billion a year waste in universal service subsidies, which do, does not help consumers and does not expand the network. And the research on this <laughs> goes far and deep, and a lot of it's been done historically here at Brookings. Uh, and it really is uh, inimical to the development of competitive markets and more efficient markets, and how you can ignore the fact that satellite broadband now delivers what the FCC identifies as broadband, four down, one up, uh, for $40 a month. That's a footprint that serves the, the entire United States. How you can exclude that, it, it takes a very nimble regulatory, uh, <laughs> does the word contortionist uh, fit into this sentence somewhere? Anyway. Um, You've defined what broadband is. Satellite companies are, are off, actually offering that. Wireless companies certainly are offering that. In many markets, there'll be more. Uh, the news we get from Japan is people are giving up fiber to the home to get 4G LTE subscriptions. And somehow we're surprised by that. Somehow we're, we're shocked. Oh, you mean wireless can substitute for wireline? We never thought of that. 